Beth Jokes Unit 3, Assignment 1, M1, Part 3. Uh, so the final one that we're going to do is the regulatory body, and the scenario for this is, a little six-year-old boy's mum is running late for picking him up due to traffic. However, the coach is running late for meeting. Instead of leaving the boy, he asks the bartender to look after him. Whilst the bartender is busy moving chairs around, the boy walks outside and is taken. When the mum arrives, the little boy isn't there. Uh, so, of course, the regulatory body uh, would be the police and the FA. Um, the police would obviously get involved because a little boy has gone missing and he might be in danger or he could be hurt. Um, it could be more serious, so obviously he could have been kidnapped, um, but obviously um, we always don't like to predict the worst. Um, so he could have just gone missing. No one could have taken him, he just could have gone for a walk somewhere. Um, but obviously um, the main... Um, the main problem is that the boy has gone missing and then this is when the police would get involved. Also, the FA um, would get, um, like, investigate into why the coach was leaving. I mean, was the uh, meeting really important? Could he have waited um, a couple more minutes just to wait for the mum? Because, um, obviously, if um, he waited about five, ten minutes more, the mum would have been there. The little boy would have been a lot safer. He wouldn't have been missing somewhere. Um, but obviously he gave him to the bartender the, bar the bartender had obviously work to do he wasn't going to stand around look watching a little boy until his mum got there um, also uh, the bartender might not have known what the mum looked like so anyone again could have turned up could have claimed that he was his mum and then obviously taken him which again obviously would lead back to why the police got involved um, legal factors for this would be higher duty of care. Um, this is because the um, coach should have stayed with the little boy. Um, it doesn't really matter if he was 10 minutes late for a meeting. They would have understood that um, the boy was more important. They needed to make sure that he was safely home. Um, again, local apprentice was involved because um, he was acting as the parent, so he's acting as the mother of the boy. Um, so obviously parents want to make sure that their children are safe, make sure that they're um, well looked after and make sure that they get home safely. And finally negligence again, because um, although the boy um, wasn't left on his own, he was left with someone that he didn't really know. Um, so this could have been anyone, but obviously in this case it was the bartender. Um, whereas the boy only really know um, the coach, but the coach left him, which could act as um, negligence as well. Um, for the legislation, there isn't one involved in this um, situation. It is mainly just the regulatory body and the legal factors. Um, so what would happen in this scenario? Um, the police would get involved. They're going to try and find out where the boy was. There'd be um, investigations. Um, this could lead to the business being closed down for a few days, which is going to affect the business's uh, customer, um, make sure that because they might not come back again because obviously a boy's gone missing. Um, so the police would get involved. They might do investigations, um, interviews on the bartender, the coach, um, the mum, they get involved with everyone that was at the scene um, when the boy was taken. Obviously going to do a bit of um, investigating, seeing if any um, valuables or um, equipment that the boy had was there just for evidence um, of him going missing. Also, um, the FA would be involved. Um, this is because they want to know why the coach um, left him. So after the police have got involved... Um, and spoke to the coach, the coach could say that he didn't really leave him alone, he left him with the bartender, so it's not really his fault. But obviously the FA are going to find out why um, he was not there. Um, if he says he was for a meeting, could he have been a bit uh, late for his meeting? Because at the end of the day, if the coach stayed there for a couple more minutes while the mum turned up, then a boy wouldn't have gone missing. Um, this could obviously lead to FA taking off his qualifications because he's broke the rules of the FA. He hasn't stuck to higher duty of care, local apprentice, um, and he hasn't made sure that the boy um, got safely home, which is obviously what we want to hear um, from someone with an FA qualification. Um, and also, um, the mum wouldn't be very happy. Um, she wouldn't want the boy, to, if the boy is found, um, wouldn't want the boy to go back to this coach. She wouldn't want other people, so her friends, her family, taking their children there, just in case it happened again. So she's going to try and stop 
um, this coach from getting any business. Um, so obviously, if they're self-employed, they're going to try and have to get as much um, clientele as they can. And this mum is going to try and stop um, customers from going there. So she's going to spread the word that um, this man has obviously let her son um, go missing because he, she was the one in confidence left her boy um, to play like football or any training session that it was. Um, in confidence and obviously um, they've broke her trust um, and obviously her boy has gone missing so she's going to be really upset and um, she just needs to make sure that he's safe but obviously she's going to try and stop um, this coach from coaching again uh, just by telling other people that he's not very good and that he um, is the real reason why her little boy went missing.